What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of this Southampton FIFA 16 career mode. A couple of things I want to say just before we dive into the episode. Firstly, massive thank you to the support on the uh, not only the videos but on the channels as well recently. I know a lot of subscribers came over after seeing the Chesnoid game in Silverstone vlog, so thank you very much for that. I plan to get my own vlog up very soon. I know it's been a while, it's been like four days now since the race and it's still not up, which is not good enough. I just simply haven't had the time, which brings me on to my next point quite nicely. Those of you that have been around the channel a while and or seen my Q&A know that I live in Cambridge, work in London. They're not particularly close to each other and I end up doing about 14 hours hour days. Leaving my house at 6 in the morning, getting in at 8 o'clock at night doesn't give me a lot of time to do YouTube videos. That is changing. On Friday, I actually, well tomorrow, as you're seeing this, will be my last day at my uh, place of work. I've got a new job which I start soon nearer to home so a lot more time going into the YouTube videos. Hopefully we'll increase the quality and uh, increase maybe the regularity as well. Who knows? But a couple of quick updates. Let's jump into the episode. So things are actually going well at the moment. We're five points clear at the top of the league ahead of Manchester United. The transfer window is now open. Lots and lots of exciting times. Hopefully we can improve the squad. First things first, I've gone back through over the last couple of episodes, read through all your comments and transfer suggestions and put them on a short list. Obviously we need a right back and we definitely need a new keeper. A lot of you said you want Navas and then Testagan kind of changed things by putting in a transfer request. So we've sent inquiries for all of those guys, all the right backs as well. Bad Stuber and Dragovic, also inquiries sent. Perisic is sitting there. Aaron Ramsey, Josh Kimmich, Jeremy Bretonia, um, Rodato Sanchez, Herbin Lozano, who a lot of players, uh, a lot of career modes actually signed this guy. He's been linked to Man United in real life, I do believe. That is the full shortlist. Lots of inquiries to be sent. Hopefully, pick up some bargains. So before we put any bids in, we're going to jump into the first game, which will see us travel to Villa Park to take on Aston Villa, of course, who are doing a lot better in this uh, series than they have done in real life of recent years. This is the squad going with a 4-3-3, looking to take the game to them, hopefully pick up another win and extend our lead at the top. Crespo goes all the way back to his goalkeeper. Villa knocking it about at the back. They've taken one too many chances. 20 minutes on the clock, 22 minutes on the clock. James Ward-Prowse pounces on their uh, mistake at the back and gives us a one-goal lead. What were they doing that? Far too casual. They're just playing a nice one-two between them. Ward-Prowse says thank you very much. And it's a composed finish. Ryan Bertrand's got space here on the left-hand side. He's waiting for the overlap from Carrasco, which comes now, and he finds him. We've got a lot of men forward here. What can Yannick Carrasco do? He's into the box. Goes past me, Richard. Surely a penalty. Yes, it is. And Villa seem to be falling apart. Look at that. Carrasco knocks it past Richard. Sticks out a leg. Clear-cut penalty. Gonzalo, can you bury this? I'm going to try and drill it into the bottom corner. Higuain, 2-0. Two goals in four minutes. We're off to a flyer. Look at that. Higuain, never in doubt. Head over the ball. Boom. Villa putting an attack together here. Veratu has the shot. Goes through a crowd of bodies. Pickford makes the save. Here's Jack Grealish. Lays it off. Defenders dive in. Can't get it away. And Villa have got themselves back into this game. Half an hour on the clock. The first effort was a good one. Pickford actually parried it out of danger. Done well. Grealish pulled it back. Ward Prowse dived in. Couldn't block the shot. 2-1. Here's Cedric. What can he do with it? He's got options out to the right-hand side. He's done very well here. Hector Villalba is making a run. He's very skillful. Can he trick his way into the box here? He can. Gets the shot away. Guzan acrobatically tips it over. So Ward-Prowse with this corner. Going to drill it to the edge of the box where Conte is waiting. <laughs> we score screamers every episode at the moment. It's unbelievable. That is one of the better ones. In off the post. No chance for Brad Guzan. 3-1. Just look at that. They left him completely unmarked on the edge of the box. He took a couple of touches to set himself. That's unreal. James Ward-Prowse, who does brilliantly to hold it up. Villalba on the overlap. Knocks it inside. Higuain goes down. That must be another penalty. Surely, ref. Is that a pen? I'm not sure. There's definitely contact. Higuain more... Nah, he more kicks the defender, to be honest. So, free kick to Villa on the stroke of half-time. It's lofted into the area. Goes very deep. Hazard deals with it. Bertrand gets this away. Can we counter-attack? Oh, it's 2 on 1 and the ref's blown the whistle. Half time, we're going to go in with a 3 1 lead, so I can't complain too much. Those fans are happy with what they've seen, but it could have been 4 1. Could have been so much more. Conte finds Bertrand on to Carrasco. He does well to control it and skips past his man as well. What can he do, Yannick Carrasco? He's still going. Don't be selfish. Picks out Hector Vallalbo. Hits one across goal. Guzan with an excellent stop. Higuain might keep this attack alive. He doesn't. So half hour to go. Double change. Luis Muriel and Deli Ali coming on. Chance for them to impress. 
He's got away from the defence. He needs to cut inside, really. Has done. Can he finesse one? Carrasco, that is so bad. Villa knocking the ball around calmly at the back. Guzan, what have you done? Muriel, what have you done? Flag stays down. Is he going to go for goal or is he going to deliver one here? He's going to skip inside and go for goal on his own. Hector Vial, but straight at Guzan. Does all the hard work, that mazy little run, and then cannot finish. Oh, Villa, good move here. Jack Grealish could be through. Cedric trying to just shepherd him out. Poor defended in the end. And Veratu's got in the end of that. And managed to pop it in the back of the net. This game is not over. 3-2, 10 minutes left. What is Cedric doing here? He looked favourite to get that ball. And then he just stopped after their collision. Not good enough. Villa coming forward here. We're into stoppage time. Here's Veratu. He's managed to pick out Jordan Ayew, who plays the ball across goal. Had a chance to shoot. Villa might get themselves back into this. Pickford manages to make the save at the near post. Surely now, that will be the last chance of the game, by the way. Cedric helps the ball on to Vialba. Unless we can go up the other end and score another. Mika Richards could be away down the left. Is he trying to hold the ball in the corner? Stands it up. Subotic with a vital header. Muriel is just going to boot it clear. He hasn't even going to have time to do that. We've managed to pick up the win. 3-2 away at Villa Park. The scoreline made the game seem a lot closer than it actually was. They had very few efforts, very little possession. But all that matters to me is the scoreline. We've come away with all three points. So they actually had more possession. But when you look at the attempts and the attempts on target, you can see we absolutely dominated. So it's email time. The offer for Casemiro. It's a new one. Seven million. We know already that we're going to ask for ten. So our inquiry for the Sevilla right backs come back 12 million. That's not that bad. Mario Gaspar, 17 and a half. I'd like, like him to be a bit cheaper than that. And then Bad Stuber, 19 and a half. That's too much. So I'm going to put an 8 million pound bid in for Coke or Coke here. Um, the Sevilla right back. I think he's actually their captain. He's a bit of a key player for them. Um, 8 million, a little bit less than their evaluation. We'll see what that happens. Look at Pickford getting brave. Now he's getting some game time. Wants a wage review, well, basically a pay rise. So, Navas, the one that you guys all want. 10 million pound bid going in. Also making an offer for Ter Stegen. 1 million pound cash plus trap. Let's see if we can use him as bait in this deal. So, plenty of emails to keep us busy. First of all, offers for Deli Ali and Conte. We'll have a look at those in a minute. Dortmund want 13 for Piszczek. Now, that's a bit of a bargain if you ask me. Bilbao want 16.5 for DeMarcos. That's not happening. 25 mil they want for uh, Dragovic, the centre-back. That's not happening. Bayern want 14.5 for Joshua Kimmich, um, who you'd have seen play for Germany in the Euros. That's not bad. We'll keep an eye on that one. Renato Sanchez, one of the stars of the Euros. Obviously, he's going to do big things at Bayern this year. £12 million they want for him. I'll think about that one. An eight and a half million pound for the left uh, Mexican left winger Lozano. Eight and a half million, not too much. We're going to make a few bids here. First bid, Lozano, five mil. Second bid, Renato Sanchez, eight and a half mil. Third bid, Kimmich, ten mil. Finally, eight and a quarter million for Piszczek. So time to look now at the offers that have come in. Roma want Conte for twelve million. We'll do what we normally do with a player we don't want to sell and just. Oh, send a counter offer of a ridiculous amount. They pay 25 mil. He can go. Everton have offered eight for Deli Ali. I'll negotiate 18. He's still young. First of all, Braga, the Portuguese club, have met our 10 million pound valuation of Casemiro. So it looks like he will be leaving, which is exactly why we're looking to sign Kimmich, who will be a direct replacement for him. So time now for one of the toughest fixtures on the Premier League calendar as we travel to the Etihad, taking on a star-studded Manchester City side. You can see we've changed the formation a bit, going with a 4-2-3-1 today. A bit more solid, but still offers a threat going forward. Hopefully we can come out of here with at least a point. Target knocks the ball inside to Hazard. Looks to play a 1-2 with Lauba, who actually just turns and hits it. And Willy Caballero tips it behind for a corner. Corner then, delivered by Ward Prowse. Van Dijk with the header! It's a beauty. Five minutes gone here at the Etihad. We are 1 0 up. That is a textbook header. Absolute leap to get ahead of his man. The guy on the post couldn't even stop it. It was that accurate right into that top corner. 1 0. Kevin De Bruyne skips past target. Not for the first time today. Whips the ball in. Ian Nacho, his header, comes back off the bar. We're going to get it away, are we? Ward Prowse caught in possession. Raheem Sterling tries to turn. Just looking to keep City out. Delf tries to... Oh, we still haven't cleared it. Why don't we just whack it away? Delf eventually shoots off target. But there's some pressure. What can he do? Looks to skip past his man. He has done. Goes back onto his left foot. He's going to lay it off. Conte with the first-time effort. 
Not great, is it? Not great. To Kevin De Bruyne. We've got some defending to do here. It's lifted into the box. Not really dealt with. Sterling with a beautiful ball to find Ian Acho. I think the flag's gone up, but Pickford made a great save anyway. Flag didn't go up. It's actually a corner to City, so credit to Pickford there. Ball is looped in, and he gathers it. So half-time whistle's gone. Referee's brought the half to a close. We're going in at the break, 1-0 up. It's been an even game. City have had some chances, but we lead through that Van Dijk header. Vincent Company finds Javi Martinez. City knocking the ball around patiently at the back. I don't know what they're waiting for us to do, but I'm happy for them to just keep possession there. I'm going to hold my shape. Whenever people ask me for advice on how to play on Legendary, there is a good example of it. Just hold your shape. Don't chase the ball and let them make a mistake. Ward Prowse, Conte, touches it on to Gonzalo Higuain. Needs a bit of space. He's got a little bit of space. Goes for the finessed effort. Caballero had to dive across. Look at the space here for Hazard. Let's knock it short, shall we? Hazard, can he get into the box here? What can he do? Oh, it's good footwork. Goes down. Ref, he's pointed to the spot. We've got another pen. They were just happy to let Hazard have the ball and just run into the box. Kolarov is just kind of kneading, punched him, elbowed him, whatever you want to say. There is contact there, and we've got a chance to double our lead as City bring on Aubameyang. Brilliant. Absolute pace. So, Gonzalo, you scored a pen in the last game. Can you do it again here? Looking to pick out that top corner, sending Caballero the wrong way. We have doubled our advantage here at the Etihad. Higuain scores again. He scored in the majority of Premier League games we've had this year. I think he's definitely a contender, if not leader at the moment, for the Golden Boot. That is a cool and composed penalty. 2-0. Finds Aubameyang on the left-hand channel. I'm sure he'd rather be in the box trying to get on the end of a cross, but Raheem Sterling's going to pick the ball up again. Good turn to beat Cedric. Hazard puts a challenge in. Bodies are everywhere, and Sterling has found a way to divert the ball into the bottom corner. He just snuck through. Nobody was marking him. We were preoccupied with the man in possession on the edge of the box, trying to block the shot. You can see here we were caught by surprise. City lucky with the ricochet, but that was a good finish. Here's Villalba. Look at the space he's got, and he's quick as well. Don't know why they're giving him so much room on this right-hand side. He's just going to keep running and running and running. Gets into the box here. Oh, cuts back onto his left foot. Oh, what a save. Caballero's just tipped that onto the bar. A superb reaction stop. Look at that. Villalba's done everything right. Completely skinned Javi Martinez. Hits the shot. Oh, what a stop. Headed away from Cedric. And City have committed a lot of bodies forward here. Looking for an equaliser. Ward Prowse has played a ball into space to Villalba again. Who might be away. He's got no support. But he cuts inside again. Now support is arriving. Thorgan Hazard. Oh, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Completely sold the defender. And he's won another penalty. And a chance for us to kill this game off. No need to react quite like that, but superb bit of skill from the youngster. Otamendi just couldn't resist the challenge. Before the pen is taken, we're going to make a double change. Hazard coming off, who's been brilliant, just needs a rest. Yannick Balassi coming off as well. Andre Schoeller and Deli Ali are going to replace them. Come on in, Gonzalo. What you got? I'm going straight down the mid. I know it's risky. Oh, it's a good pen. He hit that with plenty of power. Caballero couldn't resist a dive. And we have killed this game off. Going to be leaving the Etihad here unless a miracle happens. With all three points, another goal for this machine, Gonzalo Higuain. His Vincent Company though, got a bit of space here. As City come forward, they're not giving up on this game yet. And they've got a free kick. It's a dangerous area. Yaya Torre takes it quickly. What a save from Pickford. He's actually tipped that onto the post. Delft puts the ball back in, but it's harmless. Struck beautifully from Torre, but look at that from Pickford. Tips it onto the post. Here's Matty Target. Finds Andre Scherler. He's fresh. Cuts inside his man. He's got plenty of pace, Sherlock. Still going. What a run this is. Unselfishly tees up. Villalba. Good effort. Acrobatic. Didn't catch it cleanly, though. His Hector Villalba dispossesses Kolarov. Knocks it inside to Deli Alley. Going to hit this. Why not? <laughs> screamer. After screamer. After screamer. After screamer. This is unbelievable, these goals that we're scoring this season. And this scoreline is unbelievable. Manchester City 1. Southampton 4. We are starting to play like a team that is capable of retaining our title here. Valalba working hard to win the ball back. Look at that strike from the substitute, Deli Ali. Unreal. There you go. Full-time whistle goes. Comfortable winners here at the Etihad. Not the result I was expecting, to be honest. Thought it would be a really, really difficult game. To be fair, City hit the woodwork twice. They did have chances. But we have come away comfortable winners. Those fans going home very, very happy indeed. So before we finish this episode, let's just clear up these emails. First of all, they're not willing to offer 10 million for Caballero, so that deal can finish. They want 19 million for Navas. 
Oh, I'm going to put Trap in this deal as well. We will just... A, uh, no cash. A straight swap because Trap is valued at 15 mil. So, see if we can just swap them. Secondly, Lot Lotzala... Lozano's club have asked for eight and a half million again, so I'm going to up the bid to seven. Don't really need him, but he's a luxury player. Dortmund again asking for 14 for Kimmich. Now, if Casemiro's going for 10, I'll happily bring him in for 12. Dortmund demanding 13 for Pizcek. Going to up it to 10. That should be enough to make them accept. Sevilla want 12 for Koke and Barcelona are not interested in traps, so they want a cash-only deal for Testagen, which means it wouldn't really be worthwhile for us. So I'm going to delete that one. It's okay, I'm going to offer 10. We'll up it a little bit. Only 2 million short of their valuation, because I'm not sure whether to get him, Pizcek, or one of the other right-backs, keeping all our options open. And we've had another offer for Casemiro, this time from Wolfsburg. Again, we're going to ask for 10. I'm actually going to ask for 12, because we've already had a bid of 10. So we'll see if we can get some more money for him. Um, that one is going to be rejected, of course. And there's also a player that's come to us, player conversation email. Um, Luis Muriel wanting a bigger role at the club. Apparently that's what he was offered when he signed for us. I can't remember exactly what we did offer. He gets a lot of game time off the bench. He scored a lot of goals. But when Higuain is in such good form, it's difficult to play him. So at the end of this episode, you can see we are still sat top of the table. Manchester United have slipped up and our gap has stretched now to seven points. 22 games played, 13 wins, seven draws, which is too many for my liking. Only the two defeats. Our goal difference is insane. Our performances are insane. And the goals we are scoring are insane. Sunderland are up to third. They're playing really well. Watford in fifth. Massive surprise package there. Down at the bottom, Sheffield Wednesday, Norwich and QPR continuing to struggle. But that will bring this episode to an end, guys. Make sure you keep your transfer suggestions coming in in the comments down below. I do read them all. Um, and I will be adding some of them that I feel would make the squad more effective to the shortlist and we'll be trying to sign them. Drop a like and subscribe if you haven't at this point already and we'll see you next time.